Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do the rendering uh, of the telephone wire which you can see right here. So uh, to know how I have created the telephone wire right here you have to refer to my previous video in which uh, one I show you how you can create the surface and the next one uh, I show you how you can convert that into the uh, part model and the next one I show you how you can do the uh, material so uh, let's see how you can render this so I'll go to the render option and uh, right here you can see some scene over here it's like uh, it's preloaded so what you can do if you don't want the scene you can go to the scene editor and you can see in the predefined you have many kinds of scene over here uh, basically the scenes which you select over here will uh, will be applied as a background so you have to select uh, whichever uh, suits the background of your uh, telephone wire so let's just uh, say for example I select the same scene which I have selected over here so um, if you want to uh, if you want to select your own scene what you can do you can locate that particular image file over here and you can select uh, wherever your file location is you can select that and you can select it and uh, click OK so this is how you can select your custom image and uh, once you do that you have the uh, different options here to increase and decrease the ambience you can see the difference right here on the screen and uh, you have the option to uh, you know uh, keep your lighting wherever you want you can see the difference on the uh, main image right here so and again you have a uh, diffuse option right here so I'll make it a little bit passive because uh, my image over here you can see the wire so you can uh, make it a little bit passive so and again over here I'm going to make it uh, keep it somewhere over here and the shadow softness so shadow softness I'll keep around uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 so that's it so again the favorites if you have any favorites you can uh, add the favorite uh, you know configurations into it so again you have uh, one light setting and uh, no light setting everything no light uh, is not preferable so this is about rendering and uh, you can click OK once you're set and again over here you have the rendering options you can select high medium or low low rendering so according to your uh, uh, system configuration it's going to take uh, time for high me high rendering so I'll just select high for instance and uh, once you are fine, you're, you you can select one more option right here is custom. So in the custom option, you can uh, you can uh, actually increase and decrease the pixels. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, click on the screen and click OK. So here you, you have another option that is define the render area. So if I click, if I make a window over here, window selection, the rendering is going to happen inside the window. So if you don't want to do that, you can just uh, deselect this, and this is the final button for rendering. So before that, you can use your middle button to uh, set your uh, image, set your uh, you know telephone wire wherever you want. You can use your control key to zoom in and zoom out. You can do anything. So let me just uh, keep it somewhere over here and just do the rendering. So I'll just place it as if uh, it's been kept on the table. So I'll just give the rendering. So this is going to take some time. So I'll pause. Uh, so the rendering is done and uh, you can select this option save image and you can select the folder which you want to save and you have different formats in which you can save the uh, uh, image file like windows bitmap that is .pmp, jpg you have uh, uh, three uh, formats for jpeg that is fair quality medium and uh, high quality so i'll go for the jpeg high quality and i'll give some name for that like uh, the telephone wire render on something and I'll just click on save so that uh, 
anytime I want I can access it so uh, this is about uh, you know doing the render in the Kitsia v5 so I hope you enjoy my video any doubts uh, you have you can comment on my video and I'll get back to you so uh, like my video subscribe my channel if you like my video and if you subscribe uh, if you don't know I'll just let you know if you don't subscribe if you subscribe me then every time I upload new videos you'll be getting a notification on your Gmail so it's gonna be helpful for you if you feel that my uh, videos are really helpful for you so I hope you enjoy thank you